For the vintage finds that I found this time around are everything. Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Shanika E and welcome back to part two of my favorite fall trends. Now I had to do a part two to this video because we know that the first part of the fall, we're still kind of exiting out of the summer. We still have some warmer days and that was part one. So part two, we're gonna be going into more of the cooler months of fall. I'm also gonna be showing you guys in this video, my latest vintage finds. I told you guys that I am going to be a vintage baddie this season, and so that is what we are serving in these looks. So if you're interested on seeing how I put together these gorgeous vintage style looks on a budget, just keep on watching. All right, ladies, let's jump right in with my OOTD. Today's outfit of the day is going to be a quick recap of part one. So on the top, I have on a vintage blazer. Get into it. It is so so good it's in this beautiful like slate gray color grays are going to be trending this season and it is because they pair perfectly with some other colors that we're going to be talking about throughout this video your maroons your greens your browns beautiful stunning color and we're going to be seeing tailored blazers all fall long not so much the oversized vibe that we have done in the past but i will show you guys how to utilize your oversized blazers as well but look at the nice cut on this shoulder look at this mm. And the best thing about this blazer is I picked it up for $6. Yes, you heard me correctly, $6. I'm obsessed. On the bottom, I have on another thrifted vintage find. These are 100% wool trousers. I love the cut of these particular trousers and the color. They have like this nice, almost camel tone to them, but it provides a lot of texture to this outfit. And to keep the look from looking a little bit too kind of stuffy, looking like all of the items are from the thrift store, we're going to lift it a little bit with our accessories. So to start off with the accessories today, I am going to be showing you guys my Tiffany cuff dupe that I picked up from Amazon. I have been living in this cuff. It just does such a good job elevating a fit. And I feel like the chrome really picks up in like the slate gray on the blazer. I also have on a chunky hoop. These are from Shein. And then that is it for the jewelry. But let me show you guys this gorgeous bag that I've recently picked up from Macy's. All right, y'all ready? Look at this bag. I'm, I know, it's good, right? It's good, but come closer. I told you we were gonna get you guys together on a budget, right? This is from Macy's. I got it on sale for less than $35. Go ahead and pause the video Click the link down below, check out and come back. I'll wait. Okay, y'all back. Get into it, okay? Get into this snakeskin bag. I told you guys in part one that animal print is trending and I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. A lot of people want to write animal print off because yes, fast fashion has went boohoo crazy with the leopard and the cheetah and all of that. Some of it does look really, really tacky, but it is trending for a reason. Done properly, it looks so, so good. And this bag, baby, this bag looks good. I love how this bag kind of picks up on the grays in the top, then also with the wool again. I just love this look. Let me know what you guys think of my OOTD and this gorgeous animal print clutch. Again, if you're interested in the link for this clutch, it will be down below. So let's jump into the rest of this week's video. It's a good one. 
All right, ladies, let's get right into this week's video for trend number one that I'm going to be talking about that is going to be everywhere for the latter half of the fall, and that is going to be layering. Layering is something that comes around each fall, but this particular season, it is really taking off. And the last few seasons, we have been trend loaded. And what I mean by that, it's almost created this copy paste culture to where we are all looking the same, which is why this season I vow to be a vintage baddie and make sure that I pick up 80% of my wardrobe from the thrift store. And I'm super excited to show you guys how to do so. Now, with this particular look, we are going to be layering. Layering is a beautiful thing. It creates texture, movement, and silhouette to an outfit. So I'm going to be starting off on the base with these gorgeous balloon cut or barrel leg jeans. I picked these up from Timu. Now I don't really recommend these so if you want them, you can get them if you like the look. But in my opinion, the denim on here is a little bit thin, but it does the job as far as silhouette goes. And so on the top, I'm gonna to be actually pairing that back with this thrifted dress. Now I got this dress several seasons ago and I love the nice rich brown tones in it. I love that it is kind of like that um, balloon style skirt that we've been seeing is very extra it gives me a lot of volume and so pairing these two together creates a beautiful kind of unexpected silhouette which is what we are going to be going for with our layered looks and then on the top I'm just going to be throwing on a cropped leather jacket I showed you guys this jacket last week some of you guys went ahead and purchased it it is a good one this is from Boohoo I love the cut of this. I love how simple it is, and it's the perfect topper for any outfit. Now, if you want to wear this during the day, you can kind of pop on the mesh flats with this. And then if you want to take it out in the evening and into the night, you can put on these gorgeous Nine West pumps with it. I'm probably gonna go ahead and put on the Nine West pump with this. But again, I love the texture and the color palette of this look. It's all neutrals, but it is giving a look and a vibe, okay? So let me know what you guys think of look number one in the comments down below, and how will you be trying the layering trend this season? All right, ladies, moving on to the next trend that you're going to see everywhere this season. I talked about this trend in part one. However, I'm gonna show you guys some different variations of this trend, and that is Western core. So of course, we're seeing Western core with cowboy boots and cowboy hats, which I'm gonna be styling up in this video, but we're also seeing it in very subtle ways as well. So if you're someone who does not wanna completely jump into the trend with the cowboy boots and the cowgirl hats, I'm gonna show you how to do so. And it is simply with a cowboy kind of necktie. Look at that. I seen this everywhere but most recently i seen it on tiana taylor during fashion week and i think it is stunning i think it is so so good i think it is a nice like pop of interest to the outfit without doing too much i picked this one up from t moo if you're interested in it it will be linked down below and for the vintage capacity of this look this is a thrifted shirt I love a good thrifted men's shirt. Look at how tailored and structured it is. It has the two buttons right on the side of the collar. So your collar is not gonna be like kind of flipping around on you. It's going to stay in place very, very good. And on the bottom, I'm actually going to be pairing it back with a pair of dark denim. I also talked to you guys about dark denim in part one of the trends video and these are no different i love a good pair of dark denim but what i really like about this particular pair is that it has a nice kind of bootleg flair to them again that screams western core okay so a nice wide leg jeans just think about any of the old cowboy movies you may have watched or been around when your dad or your uncle or someone was watching they always had like a nice kind of flared pant and these pants definitely do that again i love the wash so we're combining two trends with the dark wash and the western core 
And so though this look is very, very simple in nature, it does scream it girl. It screams very much on trend, but I love the simplicity of this look. Let me know what you guys think of the first Western core trend in the comments down below. All right, moving on to the next Western look and the star of the show is going to be this cowboy hat here. Now I picked this hat up from Timu and it's a good one. I highly, highly recommend. It was under $20. It will be linked down below. I love the height on the hat. And I also love how pliable the sides are. So I love to really kind of exaggerate and curl the sides up here. I'm probably going to be removing the band on this particular hat. That's my only gripe about this hat because to me it does cheapen the look a little bit. So I am going to be removing that. So we are going to be styling up this hat very simply with a pair of Zara jeans. These are old from Zara. Let me show you. All right, so here are those old Zara jeans, but what I wanted to show you guys is the crotch on these jeans. These jeans were a little bit ahead of their time. I picked these up, I think it's about two years ago before the Western trend was a thing. But to me, this screams Western because it has kind of like a chaps style vibe to them. So I really, really love that. And then it is a nice wide leg. Now this is in a lighter denim, but because we are going to be throwing on a black blazer with this, it does bring it right into the fall. So again, we have nice, very subtle Western elements kind of peeking through, but not doing too much. When you're styling up your Western inspired fits, make sure not to tie all of these kind of Western trends together because you're gonna look more like a, a cartoon character or like you're about to go out on Halloween. You know what I'm saying? Like you want this to be done very, very tastefully, just kind of pulling a little bit here and there. Like I would never wear this with the bow tie and the hat and some boots all together. It's like, okay, we get it, you're like a cowgirl, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't really lean chic, but when you just take bits and pieces of the trend and kind of sprinkle them unexpectedly into looks, it really does make a difference. I love just how simple this look is, and it is one of my faves. All right, so we're going to go ahead and wrap up the Western trend by styling up my cowboy boots. I talked to you guys about these cowboy boots in part one. And that particular look, again, was not overtly Western, but we did throw in the cowboy boots. And it's going to be the same thing with this look. However, we're also gonna be talking about another fall trend, which is actually belts. So for my vintage portion of this look, I am gonna be styling up this gorgeous blazer here. I love this blazer. This is actually a cotton linen mix. So we're gonna have like a little bit of texture, but I love this rich kind of like brown, almost cognac color, perfect for the fall. But we're gonna be belting it with, again, another thrifted item, and it is this belt here. I love the nice chunky, um, gold buckle here and then it has like this faux suede running all the way down the side so it is a nice beautiful texture story and this is going to serve more so as a dress because we are belting it and this one is oversized so I told you guys at the beginning during my OOTD that if you do have a lot of oversized blazers don't put them away you can incorporate them into this season trend by simply throwing on a belt as I've done here. On the bottom, I did go ahead and add a pair of shorts. These are old from Zara, just so that if I'm walking, you have a little peekaboo moment, my junk ain't all out, okay? <laughs> and I love this look. Nice, sophisticated, elevated date night look. Let me know what you guys think about belting your blazers in the comments down below. All right, ladies, moving on to the next look and the next fall trend that I am loving, okay? I'm, I'm eating it up with a spoon, and that is suede. Suede is just beautiful. And when I tell you it makes such a statement in your outfit, it's because it has this beautiful texture story, okay? Again, I've been saying texture all throughout the video because it is something that really helps to elevate a look. And so again, back in my vintage bag, I picked up this stunning vintage St. John's Bay men's like little 
overcoat jacket situation. This is stunning. When I say this is 100% genuine leather, it is so good. It's in this nice deep chocolate tone. Hopefully the camera is not washing it out too much. I love this. This can be worn so many ways. You can dress it up, you can dress it down. And I picked this up for $15, as you guys can see here again from the Center of Hope. I love it. So I'm going to allow this to do most of the talking by simply pairing it back with a white denim maxi skirt. Don't put your white away. I don't care what they say. Don't wear white after Labor Day. Throw that in the trash. Throw that in the trash because your whites are going to look so good with your browns and your kind of camel colors, even some of the khakis and your greens. Keep your whites, okay, keep your whites. And I think this look is beautiful. I'm gonna be actually throwing on the black cowboy boots on the bottom. Again, a very subtle nod to the Western core, but this, this is one of my faves. If you see this in multiple videos, don't say anything because I'm forewarning you now. This is good, okay? This is so good. You can throw this on with like some sweats and some sneakers and it'd be a vibe. You can dress it up with some heels. You can put it on with denim. It's so good. And I'm so happy that I found this piece. All right. So for the next look, we're still going to be sticking with suede, but I'm going to be styling one outfit around this gorgeous suede bag. Now I have been on the hunt for a suede bag for a while. I knew I didn't want to invest too, too much in the trend because suede bags are just really not practical as far as going out. You know, if it rains or if you get something in them, it's very, very hard to clean. So I didn't want to baby a bag. I actually picked this up from Team Moo and I love that it has like this nice, just casual vibe to it. And I love that it is in kind of like this cognac color. This was only $11 and I love it. I love it. It's more of like kind of like a sack um, type of tote. It doesn't have any structure to it, but I like that. So let me show you how I plan on styling up this suede bag. So I'm going to be styling up this suede bag with one of my favorite colors for the fall. And that is going to be green. And I'm going to be styling up these kind of Mm, I want to call this a Kelly green. It's a little bit deeper than that, but these are track pants by Adidas. I have been rocking these since the spring and your track pants are definitely still very much trending this season, but I'm going to be actually pairing it back with a trench coat, a classic fall staple. I wouldn't dare call a trench coat a trend this is tried and true it is timeless but i love how this athleisure bottom paired back with something a little bit more structured this juxtaposition is just so good and the color palette is so so simple i'm just going to be throwing on a white tank with this but let me show you the accessories i could do a whole video on how to elevate your look using very strategic accessories let me know down below if you want that video but let me show you the accessories for this particular look all right so let me show you the vintage option first and it is this stunning hat look at how good this hat is girls i picked this up again from center of hope for one dollar i love the slogan on it it says i have a dream in white and then it has that pop of yellow it's so so good this green is almost an exact match for the green in the track pants and they're just far enough away from each other on the body visually that it really doesn't make a difference whether they're the exact match or not i love that and i also love that cute little rope detailing this has been trending for so long and when i found it in the thrift store i was like yes that is it you guys know i love my new york 47 hats but i'm starting to see that those hats are very very saturated will it stop me from wearing them Absolutely not. But when I want to try to lean a little bit more into my personal style, like we were talking about at the beginning, to not have that copy paste look, this thrifted hat is definitely going to help me to do so. And the same thing with my sambas. I told you guys, I have been loving sambas again since 
earlier this year, late last year, and this is my favorite pair. I love the colorway on this. This beige sand color, I think they call it on the website with the black, it is just stunning. But what I've done to make it a little bit more fun is I've added in these shoelaces. I picked these up from Timu. I'm a Timu girl. If you haven't noticed already, I am a Timu girl. I love the laces. Um, it is a nice kind of animal print. Again, like I was telling you guys in the beginning of the video, yes, animal print is very saturated, but if you get creative or if you find like really quality pieces, it looks stunning and I love how this looks. This, this whole colorway of this look is perfect. This is perfect for running errands and you just look nice and elevated. You look like a it fashion girl. One of my favorite looks for sure. Let me know what you think about the laces and this look in the comments down below. All right, ladies, so we are on the very last look. I know, I know you're sad, but make sure you subscribe, girl. There will be more to come, more styling videos, more vintage goodies, more ways to help you guys to kind of figure out your personal style and then work those into the trends that are trending this particular season. But anywho, let me show you guys the last vintage piece that I picked up from Center of Hope. And it is this kind of members only workman's style bomber. I love it. Now, what I like about this bomber is it has the silhouette of the bombers that you'll see in like fast fashion. I have a few of them. I love them down. I will be wearing them this season as well. I have one similar in color from Amazon. They had them at Zara, I believe last year. They currently have some in H&M, but this one, again, it's vintage. The cut of it is so good. The quality is amazing. I love the collar and I love the shoulders on it. It has this nice detailing here very, very good. And so I'm gonna be pairing this back with some, again, vintage gray trousers. I picked these up from Park Avenue Thrift from the men's department. And I love how gray and navy looks together. It is a beautiful silhouette. And I am going to be wearing a, another one of those hats with this look. Let me show you guys. So here is the hat that I'm gonna be wearing with this look. It is the exact same hat, just in a different colorway. Also picked this up from um, Center of Hope as well for $1. The I Have a Dream is written in navy blue. And then it has the yellow kind of shooting star there as well and the same rope detailing. Again, I love this hat. I love the structure of it. I love the small intricate details. It is really, really a vibe. On the bottom, I'm going to be pairing this look back with just my white mesh flats that I picked up from Amazon. I think these are still available. These are going to be really, really good for the first part of the fall. So don't put them up just yet. They are a nice closed toe. So I really like the way that this looks. So let me show you my last accessory and last fall trend that is going to be everywhere this season. Okay, so the last fall trend that is gonna be everywhere this season is going to be back charms. Look at this. Look at how stunning this is. Now, I was on the fence for a while about bag charms, but I just had to give it a try. It is just too, too fun. And it really, really leans into personal style. So you can see a few items that I have on here. It just screams me. You have a little coffee down there on the bottom, my initials, a little man with headphones on for like um, music, I love music, and it, it is just good, okay? It's nice, it's fun, it's, it's easy to do, and it really showcases your personal style. I picked up all of my charms from Timu. If you're interested, they will be linked down below, and I think this is the perfect touch for a nice casual outfit, and I do plan on pairing it back with the navy and gray, just because the um, blue and the orange are opposite on the color wheel. Now it is a lot of color for the fall. So I don't know, I may switch out the bag, but I really did want to introduce you guys, not necessarily introduce because it's been trending for a while, but show you guys how I am incorporating bag trends into my fits. All right, ladies, that is it for me this week. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this week's video and got some inspiration for your next outing. 
Also, hopefully you guys are encouraged and inspired to pop into the thrift store. The vintage finds that I found this time around are everything. I cannot wait to go back for my second trip. But anywho, if you enjoyed this week's video, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. It really does help me out. And also, if you are not subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button before you leave. And I will see you guys next week for another video. Bye, y'all.